the sets have been cool, man. They've been really cool. Like I've had mates saying, you know, is everything green screen? Is it hard? Are you having to? I mean, is it hard to imagine the environment? And, and it, it hasn't been because the green screen is 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 filling out, is completing the magnitude of this world that's going to be represented in the film. But the immediate environment I find myself in, anything that I refer to, anything that I really kind of point to, or that I pick up, or touch, or turn around um, corners, they're all there. I mean, you saw what they did with the New Asia set. I mean, it's some of the most incredibly carpentered, designed, carpentered, um, and just just um, finely detailed work that I've ever seen uh, you know, on a film set. When I saw, as I said, the artwork, I go back to that, the concept when I read the script, I went, this is something I would really love to see. This is a world that I want to be taken to. The script was written so well. And like I said, it's a complete reinvention of this idea of taking an I you know, taking, and, and originally this Philip K. Dick short story. And it's really, for me, feels like we're kind of tapping into really what that was about, identity issues, relationship, it, you know, relationship, who am I? What do I know? What do I remember? What is my reality? Perspective. These kinds of ideas and themes I really like in, in that story and is running over into this story. Does he remember that they love each other, that they, you know, are passionately connected? That's what I was interested in. And how do we maintain that throughout this crazy, you know, hover car chases, um, wild explosions, amazing fight sequences and fight outs and, you know, man-to-man -man combat and robots and synthetics. How do we maintain that? Because that is the most important key. Colin has been one of the reasons that this experience has been so enjoyable. Um, he's inspiring to watch work. Uh, he's just constantly doing something different, surprising me, surprising himself, uh, wanting to push himself. And, and I find his performance is just continuously layered and complicated and complex and interesting. And he's always reminding me, all oh, right, don't forget, right, we just fell off this thing, so you're actually, you, you're in pain, and I might be dying. So you're, you know, so he's, we're constantly helping each other along, like, don't forget that all these things have happened, because, you know, we come in on the morning, and we just pop in and start getting shot at or, you know, Taking, picking up from where we left off the night before. It's just literally one thing after another that's surprising and exciting and kind of fuels you for the next week and makes you go, you know what, okay, I'm covered in bruises, I, I hurt like hell, my, I threw my back out, whatever, I'm ready to go, put me back in the harness. I want to remember this moment. I have never played a bad guy before. I've never played a, you know, a villain. So, um, and I love the fact that she flips from being, you know, this very sweet, concerned wife into this killing machine in the space of a second, you know, and we, we found it kind of fun to, you know, to make her American when she was nice and English when she was horrible, just because we can, you know, so uh, it was, it was really cool, and, and I, I just think that she, you know, it's, it's great, I've, play, I've always played, like, if I've done a movie that, you know, requires fighting or action, I've always been on, you know, the side of truth and justice, and even though my character thinks that she is on the side of truth and justice, there's a kind of slightly maniacal leer, you know, come inside her that um, she's slightly out of control in, in, in her fingers and that's, that's always fun for, for an actor to play.